the new highs, they just keep on coming. Is it going to continue? Um, and every week I come on this show, I yes. get my crystal ball, <laughs> yes. um, and I take a look. I, I think you still have a lot of tailwinds here. You, you mentioned six weeks straight of gains, and a lot of that was on the fact that earnings season now is in full gear, and we had a phenomenal week last week for earnings. Right? Phenomenal? That's a strong word. Profits are that good? I like to use strong adjectives. Uh, we had about 79% of uh, companies beat earnings last week. You know, the banks did phenomenally well. At least that adjective again. Um, you had Netflix did. They, they blew out their expectations. I, Taiwan Semiconductor had a great earnings uh, you know, period as well. So I think you're going to see more of the same. That's a good omen for this earnings season is seeing companies beat. And that's really what drives stock prices in the short term. Is uh, this rally at least partly due to Trump sort of having momentum and taking the lead in many polls? I mean, I did love the fact to use that fryer. And that did really, you know, it gave me a little bit of it right here in the heart. But I don't think it's really moving the needle no? with the election. What I do think, though, is if we look at deficit spending, which both candidates don't really want to address, whether it's going to be tariffs, whether it's going to be, you know, keeping those tax cuts in place, whether it's social programs that the Harris campaign wants to put in place, I think what the market's telling you right now, we talk about the 10-year Treasury a lot on your show, mm. it's up to 4.1%. So what that's pricing is more inflation as we move forward, because you have this combination of potentially more fiscal spending and monetary policy where the Fed is you know, cutting interest rates at this point. That's going to add a lot of fuel to this fire, and that causes a lot of inflationary pressure, and I think that's what the market's telling you. Okay, if it was Harris with a six- or seven-point lead right now, two weeks to go, would the market be rallying? I think either way, and I know people don't like to hear that. No, no, no. Go ahead, go ahead. What's your opinion? <laughs> Look, you can't fight the fact that economic growth is accelerating right now. Look at GDP growth for last quarter. It's probably going to be like 3.4% now it's tracking at. You've got inflation's moderated in the short term. If you look at wage growth, it's strongly over inflation now. It wasn't for a very, very long time. So when you start looking forward, this is kind of like the best scenario you can possibly have be a stock market investor right now. And we always talk about that $6.47 trillion sitting in cash. Where is that money going to go as the Fed's cutting interest rates? It's probably going to come pouring into the market. Okay, put the, route, put the, the election aside, this market's rallying. Ryan Payne, thank you very much indeed. Stu, great to be here. All right, man.